What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I want to make a video talking about all of the raw resources you can get in LEGO Fortnite and kind of where to get them. So if you're newer to the game and you've never really adventured out as much or you're not quite sure where to get all the stuff that maybe this will help you out. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course if you enjoy the video hit the like button. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you consider subscribing. When it comes to uh, resources that are available anywhere in the game in any biome things like granite vines or wood and slurp mushrooms those can be found in any biome when it comes to granite you can pick that up the small pieces or use any pickaxe to get that when it comes to vines you can use any tool or your fist wood any axe so if it's just normal wood any axe in the game can work and for slurp mushrooms in any cave you go in in any biome you can use either your fist or a tool to get those as well now when it comes to specific things that are just in the grasslands, you're looking at marble and not root. Marble is an uncommon or higher pickaxe, so if you have it, as long as you have an uncommon pickaxe, you can use that to get the marble. And when it comes to not root, same thing, uncommon or higher axe. So you're going to have to make sure you have least, uh, that you can at least craft an uncommon uh, axe or pickaxe to be able to get that marble or not root in those grassland caves now when it comes to the dry land there's a lot of stuff in the dry lands that you can get first of all is amber amber is on the side of the rock formations just out in the world a uncommon or better uh, pickaxe will work for that as well when it comes to other things you can find just outside in the world the cactuses which is flex wood you can use a rare or higher axe to collect that and there's tons of cactuses everywhere majority of this stuff is easy to find once you get in these biomes you have to make sure that you have the correct tool to be able to you know chop them down when it comes to the dry valley in the caves you have bright core copper obsidian and ruby so these are all available in the caves now one thing that a lot of people have been talking about in game bright core and not root seem to not be as common in game as other materials it's kind of hard to find those you have to go out and adventure and find tons of different caves to be able to access this stuff and sometimes you're going to need a ton of it depending on if you're you know building weapons charms uh, if you're just out actually wanting to you know build houses lights things like that sometimes you, f you feel like you run out of a lot of these materials and there's kind of a contradictory thought of do they respawn or not a lot of people say yes some people say no Personally, I have not seen any of these materials respawn in the caves that I have been in, but it could be on a long timer, so I'm not sure. Kind of have to wait and see, keep kind of looking into that, but just keep in mind you may have to go out and find several, several different caves to be able to find enough of these materials. But that bright core copper and obsidian in those dry valley caves, to access those to be able to, you know, chop or, or you know, use your pickaxe or any of that, you need a rare or higher pickaxe so just make sure that you're you know using a rare or higher pickaxe in those caves and be careful too in the course the dry uh, valley caves they're very very hot a lot of lava stuff like that so you can die easily but another thing you can do and kind of a bonus tip while you're in those dry uh, valley caves there's also blasters these little things that look kind of like the roly the rollers the roly polies that you see out in the open world but these kind of have a volcanic looking eruption on the top you can either kill them or just let them blow themselves up. Once you've kind of spooked them, you go by, they'll kind of jump up and start running around. When those explode, they drop blast cores. So that's something else you're going to need later on in the game. Now, when it comes to the frost lands, uh, the wood in the frost lands is different than the wood everywhere else. So if you see trees with uh, snow on them, that will be frost pine. It does take an epic axe to cut down that frost pine. When it comes to the frost caves, you have iron and sapphire. It will take an epic pack, uh, pickaxe to do that. So you will have to have an epic pickaxe pretty much everything in the Frostlands. Uh, same kind of concept for the Frost Caves as it was with the Dry Valley Caves. The Frost Caves is really, really cold. So you have to make sure you take something with you to keep your uh, character warm if you're in survival. Also have your torch on you. You can throw down a, um, you know, a fire pit to keep yourself warm inside. Food, keep yourself warm. So if you're playing survival, you have everything turned on. Just make sure that you're uh, being safe when you're in there. When it comes to um, some other things you can get in the Frostlands, Malachite is the last thing, and that's going to be on the side of the mountains. You can kind of scale up the sides and pick, uh, you know, use a epic pickaxe to get it down, or once you scale up the sides, you can kind of get on the flat areas on the top, and you will also see it there. And it's green; it kind of sticks out. You're, you're it's not something that you're 
not going to see. It's pretty easy to see once you get up there and kind of know what you're looking for. But sometimes it's just very difficult to get to. Anyway, guys, that is all the raw materials in game and kind of how to get them and where to access them and kind of what you need to access those. I hope this helped you out. Of course, I'll catch you all next time. Peace.